So these are some of the factors. We have the business committees who are here. What they are interested, what they want to hear from you is about the cost of financing their businesses, which is very high. If you look at the lending rates, you look at the regulations, they end up not going to the not going to the banks. But there is no two is going to the to money lenders who are not regulated. Sometimes they are called the bank and tumbler. So that's why Bank of Uganda in June 2022 raised the policy rates. So we did not react to a supply side issue when it happened. We only reacted to the second round effects of the increases in the commodity prices. And that was in the month of June. And indeed, because of that, we have been able to contain the rise in inflation that had now peaked to 10.7% in the month of October now down to 9.2% in February 2023. So, the Bank of Uganda will keep working hard uh, to ensure that any increases in prices are low and stable. Because healthy price increases are those that reflect the actual value created or improvements in the economy. Inflation is being caused by supply side uh, 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 so forth. When inflation is caused by scarcity, and normally that is the case in, our, uh, uh, in Uganda, and then you respond by squeezing credit, squeezing monetary policy, what you're actually doing is worsening scarcity and driving inflation even further. So the people that are making money out of uh, issuance of treasury bills uh, make even more billions continuously. Uh, demand management policies are supposed to be short-term policies and not long-term policies, the way we have turned them into. When you do that, you stifle the economy, you kill jobs.